Hey guys, it's Alessandra. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas week one. Um, honestly, this is gonna be Vlogmas weekend one because I haven't filmed anything and it's Friday. So honestly guys, the just the week has been crazy. I've been at work and finals week has been insane. I have projects and exams and practice exams that I have to do that are your grades and like all this shit. So it's been crazy and I, <laughs> I'm just going a little bit insane from it, but I only have a couple more days and then I'm finally done with the semester and then I can relax. Um, so I really have not had anything to show you guys this past week. I figured this would be a good way to start off the vlog. I know it's kind of random, like where are you, Alessandra? Um, I am currently at my cousin's new house. They closed on it today. And we're just, you know, having a little celebratory dinner at their house, just some pizza and chilling at their house to just congratulate them and spend time with them. Yeah, I figured I would start the vlog off here. I know it's a little bit random, but um, it's gonna be good vibes. I worked today, I did some homework, um, but I have a huge project to do tomorrow that I have even like thought about or like looked at and i'm just super stressed about it and i work tomorrow too so it's just like a little bit stressful but we're not gonna think about that right now we're trying to have good vibes so we are gonna go inside the house oh, wow hey are you happy with your new house wow, 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 wow. guys they brought my favorite cookies ever i could eat like 30 of them literally congrats on your new house Welcome Thanks. to the YouTube channel. I think this is like your second time on the YouTube channel ever. Because I, so. I think one time we went to the mall for Black Friday or something, and Ella was like just born. Like I'm, I'm excited. Thank you for the uh, the shout out here. Pizza, pizza number one. Pizza number two. Pizza number two, my favorite. Pizza number three, four, and five. Are you enjoying your pizza? <laughs> I'm drinking a little bit of white wine because you know I'm 21 now. I'm of age. I can drink on camera. Oh yeah. <laughs> and my hair looks kind of oily. I'm sorry. I need to wash it. Mm. Yeah, I haven't washed my hair in like four days. I've been touching. <laughs> <laughs> But I feel confident that I'm gonna do very well, you know, because we won our group game in one of my classes. We were number one. So, you know, sitting pretty confident. Um, let me see, I have a stat exam, I have a humanities exam, and I have an accounting exam. I don't think I'm passing my stat class, so we're gonna have to um, push through our math classes eventually. I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know yet what the final grade is gonna be in that class because we're supposed to be dropping a couple of the grades like the lowest test grade, lowest quiz grade, and homework grade. But I don't know if that's happened yet or when that's happening. I don't know if she's just gonna finalize that at the end of the semester. And then I have a practice final and the actual final for that class. So I don't know if that's gonna be enough to get me to where I need to be. So I'm really nervous about that. But honestly, I'm just, I'm just not, I'm expecting the worst. So I, I just, I don't get surprised or anything. You, you have a very generous professor though. Wow, she's dropping a lot of grades yes. for you guys. So. But I don't think it's gonna be enough, honestly, just based off of where my grade is at the moment. But I think I'm gonna pass everything else. Oh, I, well, I should be based on how, where my grades are at right now for those classes, so, yeah. together I suck but um i am pretty much done with school i have one exam left because well hopefully i don't even know what's going to happen with that situation because i was taking it yesterday because yesterday was like the last day to do it and go the light's green um I was in that car. and then 
I'm taking it, I'm like question one, I'm like okay cool, then I moved to question two, and it, it says that the question was removed because the teacher like removed it, but I still got credit for it, so okay cool. Then I would try to move to number three, and it doesn't let me move to any of the next questions. So I don't know if anyone else in my class is having any issues like that, I messaged people in my class and none of them answered, and my teacher hasn't messaged me, messaged me yet at all. So, I don't know, I'm just waiting to see if she's gonna like be like a kind, sweet soul and extend the day like one more time just cause, like, I mean, it's not my fault the computer was acting up or whatever, the system was acting up that day. And I just wanted to pull something like, well, you wait till the last minute to take these in. Well, that's the point of the due days that you can do it whenever before it's due, even if it's an hour and a half before like the due date is like, you know? So anyways, I don't know, we'll see what happens with that. But on to some better news, we are going to Universal. Um, the weather's a little bit crappy right now, but it's supposed to stop raining like around 10 o'clock-ish, so it's fine, it's not a big deal. Um, we are heading to Chick-fil-A first, because you know, we have to go to Chick-fil-A before we go to Orlando. Like, it's just, it has to happen. So we're gonna get Chick-fil-A breakfast, and then head over to Universal. Finally walking to Universal right now. And you know, we got a fresh mask on because you have to wear a mask when you're here, which is fine, it really doesn't bother me, especially because it's cold out. So we're not gonna be sweating under it. The first time we came, it was hot and I was sweating so bad under this mask. But it's cold and it just finished raining so it's gonna even get, it's gonna get even colder. So I'm excited. We're gonna go to Harry Potter. We're gonna go to Universal first because I think it closes an hour earlier. Then we're gonna go to Islands of Adventure. Um, plus we always go to Islands of Adventure first. So we got Starbucks, my Starbucks is back there. We came to this corner over here right before you go to like Harry Potter World to drink our Starbucks and shit just so we're like get that out of the way. We went to a little corner but we're here. It's raining and it's freezing. <laughs> Victor forgot his shoes. He literally left them under the dresser like at the house. So thankfully he still had a pair of shoes inside of the car and there's like water on the thing. But yeah, so he had to wear his Converse which he hates wearing but it's all good because at least he has shoes and he didn't have to wear slides here. <laughs> update you guys my life right now so yesterday uh we drove like right directly to the gym after universal i i know like why would you go to the gym after universal I, I don't know we just have been really trying to stay consistent and we do take our rest days when needed but we already took one on saturday and we really are trying to like make it a thing to go um at least you know like five or six times a week um so we went i don't know how i don't even know how i drove from universal and home and like to the gym and everything because I was exhausted and um my boyfriend always drives every time we like go really anywhere that's super far especially to like Universal and stuff just because I hate driving in that area and like driving in places that I'm not like super familiar with and I don't drive on like in and like in the daily so I was like okay I'll drive so I did and I was like I need to blast music or something because I'm gonna fall asleep so I had to like put my music on while he was like napping in the seat <laughs> um but I w it was fine i was just really scared i'm like what if i fall asleep while driving but yeah i did a little leg day yesterday um so i didn't film that for you guys because i already filmed a leg 
workout sort of for you guys in the beginning of this video so i didn't want to like show you guys the same thing but when i do an upper body day which might be today um or tonight after my boyfriend gets off work or sometime later this week i will definitely film for you guys plus because like you know the gym is new and like the vibes are good at this gym and um i really want to start adding my workouts back into these vlogs just because i used to do it a little bit more often in the past and uh this gym is awesome so i really want to show you guys some of the workouts i've been doing lately especially because like my boyfriend has been working out with me a ton and i feel like he's helped me get a lot of my strength back especially in my upper body um which i feel like i kind of lost and i was kind of neglecting those areas for a bit and just not pushing myself as hard as i could have been um so it's just really good so yeah this morning i went to work and all day at work let me just i guess give you guys a backstory so sunday night i had an exam due and it was for accounting so anyways and i didn't know that the exam was going to not let me continue on to the next question so i did one then i clicked for two and after i did question number two i tried clicking to the next question it's not letting me so i'm like okay great i keep trying to play around with it nothing so i messaged my teacher a video of it and she gets back to me two days later which is today on tuesday um didn't respond to me all monday gets back to me today saying that she's going to um open the exam for me today and that i have to finish it by 11 50. i'm like okay great i get out of work at like 3 4 o'clock today so i'll be home i'll have plenty of time to do it um and then she also tells me that a sa uh, that on saturday there was like a cyber text accounting project thing due which i did i spent all of saturday before going out for my friend's birthday dinner that day which i didn't film i'm sorry about that but i spent all the day after work saturday doing it and even at work i was working on it. i'm like i finished it and i turned it in i literally turned it in front of my boyfriend she's like well it's showing as a zero so you probably uploaded it wrong so all day i've been trying to figure out how to upload it and then it wasn't working I don't know why and i'm usually pretty good with stuff like this and it wasn't working so i'm like getting super frustrated while i'm at work dealing with customers and then the only other option i had was to message the support email so i did and they took like an hour or two to respond back to me and they finally helped me out um so i have that turned in which is great and i was like okay great like i'm gonna finish the semester tonight i'm gonna finish my accounting exam and i'm gonna be done and then i get home chill for a bit because i was so tired and by the time that i start clicking to take the exam it says error has occurred as the course end date has already happened which means i can't access this course and i can't access the program to do the exam so i'm sitting here like what the fuck like she's gonna think i'm just purposely trying to not take this exam or something once again reach out to these support people for a different program and uh you know kind of like open up a case with them and they pretty much said like there's nothing i can do about it like she needs to extend the course date so i can enter it because right now the course end date is december 7th and today it's december 8th so it's already like over so i can't even i can't go inside to go click on anything like at all it just says error has occurred so now i sent her like three screenshots of the person saying that it's not my fault that the course instructor needs to change the end date so i'm just like I just want to have the feeling of having an assignment on my shoulders over with and like i just i want to be done with school because literally this is the only class that i still have something to do in because she takes forever to respond so i'm just annoyed that was my day today i don't know i'm just like i'm just in this like really like lazy mode right now and i just want to lay down i don't want to do anything i'm just and it's cold outside i just want to be comfy and i don't want to think about school i'm just being a baby right now because i'm tired so i'm just laying in bed now because i just feel defeated since i couldn't do my exam and yeah i don't oh wait actually i see a notification for my teacher maybe i just see a notification maybe this is her <gasps> she just messaged me She said, it's available now. Please let me know when you complete the exam. <laughs> after I just got comfortable and now I can go take the exam after the fact. That I'm comfortable now. Great. <sighs> I'm really not excited to do this. I was like starting to accept the fact that I wasn't going to take it today and I was going to have to take it tomorrow. And I was so ready to go and relax for tonight.
until I have to go to the gym. And now I have to go take this exam. Love that for me. Love that. Guess who is finally done with the fall semester? Me. I am extremely happy. Like you guys don't even understand. The second that I submitted that test, I was like, wow, this like instant weight just like came completely off of my shoulders. But um, I literally had to Christmas sheet the last 20, 25 questions of that test because I didn't have enough time to do it because there was 140 questions on it. And some of them required little calculations. <laughs> um, so yeah, I had to Christmas tree it, but I don't really care because the score that I got on the exam and the project that was due, um, it still should have me at a passing grade, which means I'm gonna get credit for the class and that is all I care about. So I'm very, very happy. I am just in a really good mood because of it. I'm just so excited to have like a whole month off. I'm not looking at that computer again unless it's for YouTube editing purposes only. So. I also ate dinner too, so I was probably hangry because I didn't really eat much today and also having to do the exam when I got comfortable, so I was just like in a mood. Um, but anyways, I am going to my boyfriend's house. I'm gonna go head to the gym with him. I am wearing a just plain long sleeve shirt, um, some women's best leggings, and then just these black Hirachis. Um, and then this jacket is from Columbia, but it's my mom's. I'm just borrowing it because it is cold outside. It's 45 degrees. I live in Florida. So that's cold for us. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm gonna borrow her jacket because it has like this thermal thing inside of it. I don't really know how it works, but this like, I don't know. It's just, it's warm. I'm like hot right now wearing this inside the house, but for outside it was perfect. I am gonna go to the gym. Um, I don't really know what we're hitting today. I'm hitting whatever my boyfriend's hitting. So it's probably gonna be something upper body because we did legs together yesterday. So I don't really know what the plan is. Maybe chest, maybe shoulders something of that nature. Let me start off with a quick little rant. So I was all excited last night because yeah, the semester's over, cool, lit. Um, no, I apparently have to get an 83 on my project to get full credit for it. So I have a 77 on it right now, which means I need to go work on it still. I only have five hours um, to turn it in because she says she's, fi she's finalizing grades at nine. I just need to add six more points and I hope just like it just takes like a couple little fixes I'm just like so over this shit. Like why can't you just accept the 77? Like, why do I have to get an 83 as a score to get full credit for an assignment? Whatever, 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 whatever. Let's just stay positive. It's fine um, But it's the next day uh, So I have to work on that. I went and got my toes done because they were looking crazy and then I uh, Met up with my friend um, to get a little bit of a you know, just a little a quick coffee date with her um, so that was fun and we just caught up on stuff just because we try to do like a one like a little weekly like catch up whether it's to go to the gym or you know do something go take pictures um, just to catch up because she moved from Orlando back home to Tampa um, so it's super exciting to have one of my like best friends back home so I try to see her when I can um, but yeah that was nice and then I stopped at the salon that I always go to where my friend Kennedy cuts my hair and I needed to like get my Olaplex again I ran out of the shampoo and conditioner Conditioner. Um, so I needed to go buy some more. Um, so yeah, that, I love that shampoo and conditioner. It's probably like the best product I've ever used on my hair, honestly. This is what it looks like. I've showed it on my channel before, but this is what the shampoo and conditioner looks like. Seriously, it's some of the, it's like literally the best stuff I've ever used on my hair. Like my hair always feels amazing and like smells amazing after I use these products. And yeah, those little bottles total are like $48, which is pretty much $50 for two little bottles of shampoo and conditioner. But at the same time, I bought the shampoo and conditioner probably back in like August. And I only wash my hair every like three or four days. And I am just now having to get more. So it lasted me a pretty long time. Plus with my little sister using it sometimes, it, it lasted me a long time. So I really, really like it. And it's worth the money. I'm waiting for my boyfriend to get to his house because we're going to go to our friend's house to go... Um, get a haircut I'm not getting a haircut my boyfriend's getting a haircut so yeah we're gonna go hang out there but I'm gonna bring my laptop with me so I can be productive and maybe edit some of this YouTube video and also finish my project because it needs to be done I don't want to be doing this later tonight so okay the music chill um I forgot if I'm leaving in the clip from yesterday or not if not it is the day after the day before that 
I'm confusing myself, but it is Thursday, December 10th right now, and I was at work all day, um, and then after work, my boyfriend and our friend Joe and all of us have just been running around town doing some errands, so my boyfriend wants to hang his TV on the wall. Joe is helping us because, you know, he's such a handyman and helps us with everything, so we went to Lowe's to get a stud sensor, we went to Target to get the Target to get the target mount, to get the TV mount. I cannot speak today. I talked to too many clients on the phone, so my like mind is just all over the place. Um, and I bought two things from Target, so I figured I would show you guys because I have a second to a vlog. So I got an essential oil diffuser. Um, I have been wanting one of these, but I also was like, ah, do I really need one? No, I have candles at home. But then, my job we started using one like at the front desk and i was like oh i really like this like it just looks so cool with like the little like vape coming out of it so i decided to purchase one i was gonna get one on amazon but i was like fuck it we're going to target i'm just gonna buy one so it's really cute um just a cute little tiny one for the room and it's white obviously because it'll match the vibe of my room um and i don't know my job also gave me a bunch of essential oils from like the fall scents that we had um that i liked so i was like oh yeah if you guys are gonna just give them out to for free i'll just take them like why not there's a bunch of different flavors like marshmallow pumpkin pie even though i don't really like pumpkin pie but a bunch of little sweet stuff and i'm probably gonna order some that are more like wintry and just like normal ones that i can use throughout the year um but i figured she gave me like my manager gave me like six or seven like free essential oils from our job so i was like okay i'm just gonna take them because why not but i just wanted to update you guys on that and then i also got these little lol masks for my boyfriend's little sister because she loves this and i saw it and i was like i just i need to get it i cannot not buy it it's a little bit later into the night um we got the tv mounted i will show you guys that tomorrow because i'll be at my boyfriend's house tomorrow but um i was just like in a mood so wasn't vlogging but anyways um we went to the gym i did a quick uh workout and then we rushed home because we were literally starving but i figured because my mom is making some food for us right now i'm going to show you guys the essential oil diffuser and what it looks like um and we're going to pick out a scent and we are going to place it on this table over here and it's going to be so cute and it's going to smell amazing so let's just do that real quick <music> I love it. It looks so cute and it smells awesome. I don't know if you guys saw it very well, but I decided to put marshmallow in there um, and it smells awesome. So this brand of essential oils my manager gets for um, my job and all of them smell bomb and they're pretty strong. So it's called the brand PNJ. So I would definitely recommend these because they all smell awesome. They have so many different kinds of scents. Um, so definitely go check them out. But I love this. It looks so cute. It is Friday today. I got off of work and now I'm about to head inside to my doctor's appointment. I'm just getting like a annual wellness check up type of thing. I also need to get my birth control like prescription redone for like the whole year because I just got my last pack like two weeks ago. So, um, you know, got to go in there, go see the doctor real quick. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all I'm, I've done today, working the doctor. So we're gonna go inside because my appointment is in like nine minutes and I'm actually on time for something for once. I am shocked. Um, but yeah, after that, probably gonna head home, chill for a bit. And I don't know if my sister's trying to go to the mall. She needs to go buy like something for a Christmas gift or something like that. I don't know what it is. Some gift she needs to go buy. So I might go tag along with her. I don't know. We'll see what we get into. Um, we're going to Hyde Park right now because <laughs> she, okay, she wants to show oh, wait, her wait, outfit. Wait, 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 what do you want to do? Oh, okay. Um, so we're going to Hyde Park because we're going to get our dinner from that area anyways. And then she wants to go take a look at gifts there instead. So yeah, we're going to head over there now. It's a bit of a drive. Suffolk seems kind of awful right now yeah. in this area. So yeah. fun traffic. We still have 30 minutes to get there. We are, look at that, look at that line of traffic until we get onto the freaking highway. It's 
it is the next day and I'm currently at work. I literally woke up at 8.50 and I have to be at work at 9. So thank God I was sleeping at my boyfriend's house because he literally lives like less than 10 minutes from my job. But still, I was like rushing this morning. So I finally get to like relax and I'm like, the store's open. The clients are already here for 10 o'clock. So I'm just chilling right now. Thankfully, the last couple of days have been kind of slow. So like with the phones at least. So I get to chill the majority of my shifts, which is nice. I wish it was like this when I was in school still or like, you know, when the semester was still going on. But anyway. Anyways, I figured since I have a good amount of time right now, since it's slow and the clients are currently in massages, let me show you guys our cute Christmas decorations. Start off with this back wall. So we have all the therapist names on these stockings with cute little white and gold Christmas trees and like pine cones. Then we have the essential oil diffuser. This is literally the reason why I wanted to get one for myself because I just... I just think it's so cute. Okay, so this door takes you to like the uh, therapist, like massage rooms, the break room, bathroom. We have two little trees up here, a bell, more Christmas trees, and I don't know what that is, but it's adorable. Um, and just like the therapist, we, uh, the receptionist, have our own stockings up at the front. Um, little wreath right there, I feel like that's how you pronounce it. A sleigh, another sleigh that says peace on earth. Then once you get over here, we have a little reindeer. Um, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is plaid themed in here um, with little hints of red, green, and gold. Um, then we have this shelf that holds our skincare and our essential oils that people can pick from. Uh, so we have Christmas trees kind of spread out around it. All of our winter scent essential oils and then just our regular ones up in the back. Um, a snow sign behind the skincare. So it's very cute. Then on these two tables, we have kind of like this lantern thing with a fake candle in it, another Christmas tree. This set, I think my manager got off of Etsy, if I'm not mistaken. Um, she, she always finds like the cutest things. All the chairs have pillows on them that are plaid themed as well. That has like a reindeer on it, uh, Santa with on his sleigh. This is the Christmas tree, which has given us such a hassle because it was a pre-lit tree, so half of it wasn't working. So we had to like, my manager did it, I didn't do it. But she like cut out some of the spots and just re-did uh, the whole tree with new lights. So it looks really good now. And we have, you know, fake Christmas presents down here just to kind of give it a cute homey Christmassy vibe. I love it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. 